Hello again, guys. Welcome to another episode of Tank School, teaching you how to be a better tanker. This is case studies, looking at specific examples of time for I played in a tank, or my teammates have played in a tank, and I'm tanking with them, and what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, what's the logic that we're going through. In this example, I am playing with level battlefield in Grand Bazaar. I'm in the IFV, and I'm in with a tank crew that is one of the best I could ask for. I got Nix DK, the Nix DK, I got Urbane Swede, or Urban, I, and I have Hemi 7931, or no, 7913, excuse me. In this, I'm moving that IFV around, and we're in Grand Bazaar, and you'll notice that when we're playing, I'm sort of constantly putting fire down. The enemy IFV is down, and so I'm just trying to capture Charlie. When I'm capturing Charlie, I am moving back and forth just so I can maintain my maneuverability. It's actually a really vulnerable place to be in. But here's the thing. Two of the three of my tank crew guys are staying in the tank up. crew with me. They're, yeah, they're manning those side guns and just so that they can be there to see where enemy guys are and call it out if need be and then if they need to get out and help me, they'll repair me. But as you can see, I'm at 100% health. Most of my uh, reactive's up, so I don't need to worry about this kind of stuff. But here's what I do need to worry about. When I'm moving, maneuvering back and forth, I have the concept of, of when they get out of those vehicles. Because when they get out of the vehicle, they may get up behind me and I may run over them. In the case here, I ran over Hemi. Got it. And while it sucks that I did it, sometimes it happens, sometimes it's it's the driver's fault, sometimes it's no one's fault. It's just what it is. But I'm getting out of here. We captured Charlie, and as soon as we capture it, we're constantly going to move oh, to shit, another course. place. As fast as we can. I take some hits, right, they all get out as fast as they can to repair me. When all of them together are repairing together, it repairs it super fast. So, they get back in, I'm now pushing Echo, I see a few guys on Echo. Some of them are staying in on, on, on the main gun turret on the side, some are getting out to help engage. We're just trying to fight things out. I see two guys here get more hits. They're also going to try to engage them as well, but again, they're staying in there just trying to cover my sixes. With the turret and with the guys fighting on the sides. But again, I, I back up a bit, and then I run over Nick's DK. Nick's was trying to repair my, my back reactor, nice which Thanks. is down. But I wasn't even going that fast, but that's but even if I just bump him a little bit, he now. can die. What? How'd that happen? It's just not that good. Oh, and right. I, it's, a, it's a double now. I did it twice. So, well, that's... You have something to be cognizant of when you play in these kinds of events. You have to be constant of running over your own dudes. You don't want to do it that often. Sometimes it, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. After we get captured Echo, we go directly to Delta. We don't worry about the other points, and we... And oh my goodness, look at all oh, those guys. So, I am I am pivoting. I am firing into there. My infantry guys are, are pushing with me. I am trying to be a mobile target so they have a harder time hitting me. Oh no! You got next to me? Mice, 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 mice. And trying to find... Oh, look at all those guys there too. Again, I'm going to get some shots off. And I'm, I'm firing into the corners where they may peek preemptively. And I'm also maneuvering a bit. I know that with the amount of health that I have, 90%, I can take one or two hits before getting, getting disabled. And so unless they both peek at the same time and fire at the same time, I can take a hit and get out of there. They repair me real quick. Doing real good. And we have majority of the points right now. At the start, we didn't have majority of the points, but now we do four and five. Prepare your With... This in mind, we're going to take a second. The tank support guys are going to reload their RPGs because what's the rule, guys? When you get out of your tank and you're fighting against another tank, you're part of that tank crew, you get out your RPG and you fire a shot into that, in that enemy tank before you start repairing. The enemy APC is up here, and I'm going trying to engage it through the bus. Not having much luck, but now I do. You'll notice that a mortar guy had smoked between That's us, something. but I still fired into it. I still get the kill. Oh, wow. And I keep on I firing into it. I keep on firing because I may get some additional additional I shots. I, I got and there. those mortars are still hitting me. But we got to be conscious of those mortars. Oh, the mortars only do 15 damage at the very most, but they can oh, add up. And they can be really, really effective against the tank repair crew. And so I got to worry about those guys as much as I worry about my guys. Uh, I if I start seeing mortars hitting around me, I got to let them know. So we get repaired just enough so that we can get up, and then we can get out of there. And remember, when you're when you are disabled, you have to get up to 100%.
Yeah, so we're back in 100%. My Not only are reactors up, but all four of the guys are in here with one of me. <laughs> and I am now going to try to do a two-point, a three-point turn, two-point turn, and going to push into Echo. I'm going to peek into Echo to see what I find. I see one in me Jeep. I lay into it, and hopefully it goes down or just get a kill. I get some kills, but I got I got to watch out for these enemy guys. Even though that we have Echo, remember, they only have one point right now, which means that they could put all their force, all 32 of their dudes, onto another section. Pivoting back and forth. Now watch how I back up a bit and let the infantry do most of the work while I simply provide them supporting fire. Taking A, they're taking A. Back, backing up. Backing up. In this example, I back up a little bit. I'm trying to help out. I see that Alpha's being lost. I'm going to go back to Alpha. I've got to pre-shell it. I don't know if there's guys there or not. But I can still fire it out because I may get some hits on it. Oh, look at those landmines, though. Oh, shit, mines, mines. Oh, mines. Now, watching those landmines is really critical. And I only saw them after the fact. I, I hit one. And I get glitched out. But I'm good to go. I'm just staying still. Stay, staying still. Excuse me. There's one more. All right. And I think we got it. Not to kill anyone on my own team. And for all those guys around there, I, I actually am impressed that I w didn't run anyone over. Now we look on the minimap, we see the enemy IFV pushing from Charlie into Echo. We have the guys come in, yeah. uh, but I have some problems. The Jeep, uh, the Jeep's in my way. Uh -uh. The IFV should get the right of way over the Jeep because the IFV is faster and it's more important. The Jeep is secondary. We're going to go back to Echo to try to hold Echo again. This is getting towards the end. There's the enemy. Uh, I have here, and I made a mistake. I didn't have all my shells ready for AP. I made a mistake and didn't didn't let myself reload it, and so I actually didn't get as many shots no, on him as I thought I would have. But luckily, it looks like he's dead. Nice so that's good, right, guys? Sorry, Nick. Except there always can be more guys. So let's watch what happens here. All those guys are still there. I'm getting some some kills. I'm I, I have 75 percent health, and. Uh, so many over here. I'm but and all four, of my, three of my guys are, are with me, and they're gonna start to repair. But it may not be enough. They all start oh. dying, and then I go down. I killed a bunch. So hopefully this gives you an idea of of the op tempo it takes to do this kind of combat on Grand so Bazaar. I mean, it's not surprising. This is not the only case study you'll be doing for tank else. school, but just one of many. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and until the next episode.